We're really excited about having an open platform for DNA Center because it enables us to integrate and build really interesting software solutions on top of DNA Center uh, and really be able to deliver to our customers uh, innovative experiences and custom tailor experiences for their needs. We're actually really excited about using DNA Center and its open APIs in order to build some innovative experience for our customers. Uh, we started by building the Mobile Ops Center, uh, which is what we've been focusing on so far, which really provides an on-the-go experience and a window into the DNA Center. Uh, we've been really excited about accessing the Assurance APIs to be able to give our customers access uh, to their network health uh, on the go and also be able to quickly diagnose and remediate some issues very quickly. So this is our mobile Ops Center application that we've built um, that is a interfacing using Cisco's DNA open APIs. Um, and I'm going to jump into it really quick. This is our home screen. Um, but the use case is really, as an IT administrator, uh, you want access on the go to the, to the DNA Center interface. Um, and so I can get a notification on my phone in real time as issues come in. I can quickly even jump into them, jump directly to that issue. Um, look at the suggested actions. I can read the details about the issue when it came in. I can even go in some of these suggested actions that are that are actionable. Uh, I can actually run commands using the command runner API on the device that's having an issue, um, and then I can actually see the output of that of that command on my phone in real time. And if that's all I need to do is just check a configuration, make sure it's it's working correctly, um, then I can be happy with it. I can actually mark that issue as resolved in DNA Center and get back out and resolve that issue. Then going to the dashboard, we have our home uh, divided in the network health, which is the infrastructure, all your routers, all your access points, all, all your device, all your infrastructure devices. I can dive in here. I can see the network health on here of each of those sections. I can come back out. If I need to look at client health, I can see that as well. And then I can load up and see my, my wired and wireless health, I can see my connectivity RSSI, uh, so I can see over all my devices what's their, what's their connectivity signal strength. Uh, and then we have the issues that are being collected that I already talked about through the notifications. We have the search capability, which is really cool because it allows you to dial in to specific users and see what devices they have connected on the network uh, at the present time. So you can see that uh, I have my devices hooked up in my Denver office right now, and I have three iPads right now that are connected to the network. I can go into the, the device individually, I can load up the 360 view on a mobile device, uh, and I can see uh, exactly in the onboarding page, for instance, uh, how it's connected to the network. Uh, so I can see the route that it's taking, and I can see the network health of each of the devices that it's connecting to on that, um, on that view. I can see the last 24 hours of the network health. I can look at any unresolved issues specific to that device. Um, and I can also go into the detailed information. Now, one of the really cool things with the Apple partnership uh, with Cisco is this iOS analytics that you get only on Apple devices, uh, which allows you to go into uh, and see the access point that the device is currently connected to, as well as its neighboring access points, which is really neat to be able to see uh, for those sticky client issues if the device is connected to the right access point or not. Um, so I think that that's really powerful and a really cool use of the technology. Going back, we have uh, some general device uh, searching where we can search for access points. I can load up some details on the start of the 360 view of the, of the access points themselves as well, which is really cool. Um, and then also we have the, uh, the clients. So this is just an overview of all the clients you have connected to your network. So you can kind of see what the network health is of all the devices overall that are connected, the clients uh, that are connected to your network. So we're really excited about this product. I think it's really uh, you know, our starting point into it. And, uh, and I think it really gives our customers a view into the DNA center that, that is just a mobile on the, on the go, be able to get a quick overview of the network. I'm really happy about it. Please visit Cisco DNA Center Ecosystem Exchange to learn about our solutions and to contact us.